fervent cries of death to America, endless castigations of the great Satan, and frequent comparisons to dogs and pigs. Iran's leaders rarely have a good word for the US but there's one American who to this day is revered in the Islamic Republic, and who even has his own statue in this northwestern Iranian city, Howard C. Baskerville. He was a young idealist from Nebraska who came here to teach and ended up fighting, and dying, in Iran's first revolution, an uprising against an oppressive monarchy that he found similar to America's own quest for independence. More than a century later, many still call Baskerville the American Lafayette of Iran and invoke his name in hopes of a return to a time when their country and the U were friends, not foes. His popularity never stops growing, says Mosin Rahimi Kazani, a teacher and a Baskerville fan in Tabriz. In the hearts and minds of our people he's a true saint with all the virtues a classic Persian hero should have, standing up to oppression, never faltering despite being outnumbered by the enemy. That image has made Baskerville an icon that has survived the tumult of modern-day relations between Washington and Tehran. In 2005, then-Iranian President Mohammad Khatami gave Baskerville pride of place in Tabriz's Constitution House, unveiling a bust of the American that was installed with little objection from the country's hardline politicians. The inscription in Persian at the bottom calls him a patriot and history maker. Every March or April, Kazani says, people from all over Iran who come to enjoy Tabriz's traditional bazaars and its red and turquoise mosques still take a moment to commemorate the anniversary of Baskerville's death and lay wreaths on his tomb in the Assyrian cemetery. I'm going through paperwork now to open up a cafe and restaurant named after Baskerville in the Grand Bazaar area, says Mohammad Shahdad, a 34-year-old tour guide. Baskerville's story harks back to 1907, a time when Iran, the Western world still called it Persia at the time, and the U were distant friends and the American Revolution served as an inspiration for Iranians. A graduate of Princeton's Theological Seminary, Baskerville, then 23, decided to delay his entry to ministry and left for Tabriz to teach several subjects and coach tennis and equestrianism at a Presbyterian missionary school. It was a job at which colleagues said he was successful. Iran was in the midst of a full-scale confrontation pitting the Russian and British-backed Shah Muhammad Ali against the so-called constitutionalists, those who had forced the Shah's father to accept a constitutional monarchy, the creation of a majlis, or parliament, and the drafting of the constitution, which the Shah had suspended after taking power. In 1908, the Shah launched a coup. He dispatched his Cossack brigades to bombard the majlis in Tehran and snatched back the reins of government.